Manhattan. Well, one day after the Boston Marathon bombings, the impact still resonates in the Chattanooga area. Now, we've researched the race's website and found 16 runners from our area. News Channel 9's John Madewell spent the day tracking down some of those runners. He joins us now. John? Well, Calvin and Kim, we spoke with three runners and one wife who was there in support. Now, all of them were still in Boston making arrangements to get back home. And all say these bombings shook them mentally and emotionally, but will not change the way they live their lives. We've all seen the horrific images, the blasts, runners dropping, three people killed and more than 100 injured, mostly spectators. Joni Sampirak was about a block from the blasts. Fortunately, Joni and her nephew were not hurt. She was waiting on her husband, Tony Grassi, a mobility impaired runner, to cross the finish line. That's him in the middle of this picture with the blue sleeves. He's also a Boston native. We spoke with his wife on the plane headed home. Um, we're very angry, and you know, up here they're calling it a tragedy. Um, Tony and I call it an outrage. Um, you know, obviously we're very angry that somebody has done this to his home city and to our country. Tony made it to where police stopped the runners about the 25 mile marker. He clearly believes this is an act of terrorism, but his resolve stays strong. I won't bother me. I'm, I'm Running beside Tony, his guide Joe Dumas. His spirit is in lockstep with his good friend. It's not going to stop me from running. It's not going to stop me from running in, in races. You know, if, if these people who did this get us to change our lives, then they win. I'm not going to change my life because some idiot, crazy person or whatever terrorist wants to blow up. Marathons. Kevin Huey ran cross country for UTC and graduated in 2010. This was his third marathon, first one at Boston. He finished about two hours before the explosions, but has spent the last day reflecting. Yeah, I'll definitely still do other marathons, being large crowds. I mean, I'm strongly considering doing the Boston Marathon next year, but it's you obviously do have that little bit in your back of your head. It's like, um, is it worth putting yourself at risk? Now, Kevin Huey went on to say he would hate not to run future races, but would welcome heightened security. In essence, that's how all the local runners that we spoke with felt. Calvin. Thanks, John.